Hey guys, this is Forsaken Reality here with the fourth episode of the True First Person Shooter tutorial series. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you get notified when I upload new tutorial videos. In this one, we're going to look into importing and setting up our character mesh. Retire with, we're going to retarget our character to our skeleton and things like that. You can use whatever character you want, but for this one, I use the military character dark. So for this one, you'll need Unreal Engine 4.21 if you want to use these ones. They have some decent starter, free, they're free, so that's why I decided to use this one for the series. And they have a couple of decent characters, a male and a female. So you want to pause the video and install 4.21 if you haven't already. Once you do that, you're just going to want to open it in the launcher. Add to project, and my pro this is the project that I have added to. You want to create a project in 4.21 to add it to, if you haven't done that already. So you want to go to library, launch 4.21, and create a blank third person project or whatever you want to use to dump it from. And I already have it imported to my project. So once you import it, you will have your character, military character dark like this in the 4.21. And from here, you can simply right click your files, migrate, and it's going to migrate all of these just in that folder. Select OK. And you want to go to your content folder of your project. So you'll have your basic file set up here and import that into your content folder. Once you have that imported, you can just close out of this now. And I'm going to move my test project out of the way here. Oh, that's not my test project. So now we have our first person shooter tutorial. I'm just going to delete these. One thing that I noticed is that you don't have to rebuild the lighting after deleting those. The shadows disappear with them, so that's nice. Something that's specific on Real Engine 5. I'm going to click not now. So now we have our military character dark here. I'm going to go to Meshes, right click, create a folder called Skeletal Meshes, throw the Reform Mannequin in there, fix up Redirectors and save all. And then I'm going to just select everything in here. First, I'm going to create a folder in here. So now my military characters folder right here. Select all this by holding shift, clicking the first one, holding shift, click the last one. And move here to your military characters. Up redirectors just in case. Delete this folder for the military dark original. Now you have all your meshes in here. First thing we're going to do is open up our skeleton and make sure that's set the humanoid for the skeleton. It's not, you can just select humanoid like that. And And I don't know why I did that. That's for animations, but we're going to need to do that anyway. So we can just go to our military characters, select two of these, right click, skeleton, sign skeleton. 
and then select your master skeleton. And accept that. Do the same thing for the other one. Now we want to go to our blueprints folder. I'm just going to compile and save. I've changed that input to V for view. And mesh. We can set our mesh right here like that. And everything should be working perfectly. So click play, we look down, our animations are retargeted to our mesh, and everything is looking okay. Let's see how it looks in third person. And everything seems to be working perfectly. That's going to be everything for this episode. If you found this video helpful and want to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new tutorial video uploads. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below or join my Discord community using the link in the description. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next one.